Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Camp Mode and other features become indispensable for Ukraine EV owners. Tesla submits partial response to NHTSA's probe on in-car passenger play feature. Tesla Giga Fest at Giga Texas, attendance figures, time, other details revealed. And, Tesla deploys emergency software update 2022.4.5.12 to calibrate LFP batteries. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. It's not only Elon Musk's Starlink terminals from SpaceX that are currently aiding people in Ukraine, which is still being attacked by Russian forces. While Starlink plays the vital role of keeping key parts of the nation connected to the internet, electric vehicles from Musk's EV company, Tesla, are also aiding people on the ground. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has shown the world harrowing images and videos of the war. But amidst this, photos have also been shared online that show just how resilient people are. Some of these images were shared on social media platforms recently by electric vehicle advocate Bogdan Golovadyuk, who is currently in Kyiv, Ukraine. According to Golovadyuk, electric cars have become indispensable in the Ukrainian capital. Since fuel is scarce, EVs have become an ideal form of transportation. Teslas in particular, due to their features, such as camp mode, have become a home for many. The EV supporter shared various images of Teslas across the country, some of which were holding supplies, food, and even armaments in their storage areas. While Elon Musk's SpaceX has taken a more active role in helping Ukraine, Tesla has rolled out some programs recently that are also aimed at helping citizens of the besieged country. In late February, Tesla announced that it was waiving fees in select superchargers in Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary, which are close to Ukraine, to help electric vehicle owners get to safety. Interestingly enough, the free supercharging program for Ukraine was extended to both Tesla owners and non-Tesla owners. It's not just the company itself either. Photos recently shared online revealed that members of the Tesla Club Polska have driven down to the Ukraine border to help out refugees from the besieged country. So far, reports have indicated that Tesla Club Polska members have shared first aid, food, and supplies with refugees. Some members also transported 16 Ukrainian refugees into billets in Poland. Moving to the next update, Tesla submits partial response to NHTSA's probe on in-car passenger play feature. A recent memo, posted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, has revealed that Tesla had submitted a partial response to the agency's ongoing probe into the electric vehicle maker's retired passenger play feature. The memo was posted on the NHTSA's website on Tuesday. The manufacturer's partial response to the Office of Defect Investigation ODI's, information request for this investigation has been received and is being reviewed. The company has requested confidential business information treatment for the entirety of the information request submission. While ODI's investigation is ongoing, we recommend that you periodically review this investigation file for additional documents and updates," the memo read. Back in December, the NHTSA opened an investigation into an estimated 580,000 Tesla Model 3, Model Y, Model X, and Model S from the 2017 to 2022 model years. The vehicles, which were equipped with the company's passenger play feature, could run video games despite being on drive. The feature was designed to be used by people on the passenger seat, but the NHTSA was concerned that such a feature could also result in drivers getting distracted. A formal safety probe was opened by the NHTSA's Office of Defects Investigation to evaluate the driver distraction potential of passenger play, and Tesla later responded by retiring the function. Passengers could still access video games from the vehicle's infotainment systems, but they were not able to run them anymore when the cars were on drive. The NHTSA also sent a letter to Tesla asking the company for more information that can help its ongoing probe. 
This information included consumer complaints, as well as reports of crashes, injuries, fatalities, and lawsuits that may be related to passenger play. The agency also requested that Tesla submit a chronology of events and studies, which explains the company's decision to deploy and later retire the in-vehicle gaming function. Moving to the next update, Tesla GigaFest at Giga Texas, attendance figures, time, and other details revealed. Tesla's GigaFest at GigaFactory Texas is officially set for April 7, and new documents released recently reveal the plans for the event, including attendance figures, time, and other details. Tesla's GigaFest event will be held on April 7, starting at 4 p.m. and ending at midnight, according to new documents from Travis County Commissioner's Court. The event will celebrate the opening of Tesla Gigafactory Texas, the automaker's second U.S.-based production facility. Tesla plans to allow up to 15,000 people at the Gigafest at Gigafactory Texas, the documents revealed. Admittance will only be allowed for patrons with a ticket and invitation, according to Tesla's mass gathering permit application, which was received by the Travis County Fire Marshal's office on February 18. This is considerably large, and CEO Elon Musk has stated that priority will go to residents in the greater Austin area before more attendees are sent invitations. Tesla says it will require ID at entry and wristbands will be worn by those who attend the event and are 21 years of age or older. Alcohol will be available at the event, so the wristbands are to differentiate who can and cannot legally drink. Tesla will also hold tours of the Gigafactory Texas facility, just like it did at the Gigafest, the automaker held in Germany, to commemorate the near completion of Gigafactory Berlin. Tesla is now waiting for EPA certification of the Austin-made Model Y before it can begin initial deliveries. The Travis County Commissioner's Court will also have a public hearing on March 22 to receive comments regarding the issuance of a mass gathering permit for Giga Texas event to be held on April 7, 2022, at 13101 Tesla Drive, Austin, Texas, 78725. Moving to the last update, Tesla deploys emergency software update 2022.4.5.12 to calibrate LFP batteries. Tesla appears to be taking a more serious step to fix the issue of the new 12-volt Li-ion batteries failing in Model 3s equipped with lithium-iron phosphate LFP batteries. An emergency software update was deployed recently, which can be downloaded and installed over the vehicle's LTE connection. According to a copy of the release notes from an owner who received the update in Germany, Tesla says the range indicator in the vehicle is being calibrated without providing further details on how exactly that is being accomplished. Additionally, the release notes recommend charging to 100%, even for daily use, for a more accurate range estimate. Last week we reported how LFP batteries in recently delivered Model 3s that had not been charged to 100% were over or underestimating the vehicle's range. This caused the computer to think the car still had 10% of range left, when in reality, the main battery was already at 0%. When the main battery died, the 12-volt Li-ion battery was also dying, leaving the car stranded and unable to be driven. Tesla has so far sent pop-up messages telling LFP Model 3 owners their charge limit had been increased to 100% and recommending they charge as soon as they can to calibrate their batteries. The issue may be more serious than previously thought, and Tesla is now automatically calibrating the batteries with this emergency software update. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.